it's the morning and I'm getting ready for a pedicure that is happening in 25 minutes, 23, something like that. I know this client's feet really well. They usually don't come in with a lot of calluses. They sometimes struggle with inger on toenails, but since they stopped using gel on their toenails, that has stopped. A lot of times people wear gel on their toenails, whatever, it's fine, uh, but they wait a really long time to remove it and then their toenails get really dehydrated and the gel is becomes more brittle and then it just like sticks on the nail and it can create a hostile environment for the toenail. If you ask me my opinion, uh, since this is my channel, I will tell you that for a long time I just did mostly pedicures without gel and no color because I prefer that because people, uh, I, pr I didn't have any color that was polished that dried fast enough and I prefer not to like send people out in the world with something that could be a possible annoyance to them in the near future. Do you know what I mean? So anyways, I know this person's feet really well, so they're in really good condition. Most of the time, if you get regular pedicures, like every four or five weeks, sometimes six, depends on the person, depends on how much you care for your feet at home, really, your feet will change for the better. Sometimes they stay the same, maybe a little bit better if you come every once, every six months, or you sometimes they stay the same even when you come once a month, but you don't care for your feet and you have something like uh, a lot of callus. It all really is up to you. I think a common misconception in the nail industry, it, once you go get your nails done or your toes, then you're fixed and everything's fine. Um, that's not true. You have maintenance to do and it's just like your hair or another beauty service, you have to take care of them um, and then you will have better results most of the time. I don't like to guarantee anything even though most of the time people do have really good results because they're here to take their situations more seriously. And uh, so I didn't show you any of the things I put in here, but I put in toenail clippers, the ingrown toenail file because I use that to round the edges of the toenails, put longer cuticle bit because I clean out the side walls with those, a shorter sort of cuticle-ish bit because I smooth the edges of the toenails with those. I have my foot file, which I might not use today, it depends. I haven't seen their feet in a few months, so I might need it. And then I always use one of these discs because I use potter discs. Um, I'm going to try to film this pedicure. Oh, and this. This is, is a side wall scooper. If you're at home, use something like this. You don't need to hurt yourself. It's an orange wood stick. And then just scrape the sides of your toenails. But if you're doing pedicures professionally, get invest in one of these. I don't remember where they sell them. Look up the North American School of Podology and they probably have a source. Okay, I think I have everything. I think everything's ready. You have to put the base coat, see how it's jelly, into some warm water for it to liquefy, turn normal, and then it's good to go. Um, it doesn't take very long at all. Yeah, that's, that's how you use Dazzle Dry. Hey, it's another day and I decided to show you guys what I use for just like a standard pedicure. So this is this tool. It is like a sidewall cleaner, a little scoop, a curette perhaps is the right word. I don't remember. This is the ingrown toenail um, file. One is curved and one is straight. I usually just use a straight side. These are like little, they're kind of like cuticle nippers, but there's no spring jaw. And I use this to get little pieces of nail out of the side walls, if there is, because that can cause a lot of pain. This is what I use to make the toenails straight across, like after I cut them, and then also round out the side walls. I also use this for a little bit of like detailing around the cuticle area, getting any cuticle off of the nail, removing dead skin from the sides of the toe. It's like a really good all-in-one bit. And then I have one of these, which is a sidewall cleaner. You've probably seen this, it's like a unicorn bit. I don't use these all the time because some people keep up with their pedicure maintenance a lot, and I don't find I need it all the time. These are my toenail nippers. This is what I use. You've seen me in videos straight across. They don't look gentler, but they are more gentler on the toenail because there's less of the area that's causing pressure on the nail itself. I really like these 
hotter disk holder. I like the plastic one. It's less heavy, so you're gonna get less resistance from your drill. But you do need to have a drill with like a pretty high torque for these to work properly. If you're using like a cheaper drill, it might not work. Sorry, e-file. That's what I'm using today. And also have the FootLogix FootCat file. One is like um, coarse and one is um, smooth. And I use that when people have heavier callus, but when the feet are uh, maintained, I don't necessarily need something like that. I can just go in with potato discs and it's completely fine. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I'll see you later. Hello, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a pedicure with Dazzle Dry Polish. This client had a previous Dazzle Dry Polish application on their toenails probably about two months ago, and I'm just removing the polish with acetone and cotton rounds cut into four. It's kind of hard when you do this on toenails because toenails are tiny and they don't have as much surface area for the acetone to stick on, but I'm doing the best I can. And as you can see, it comes off pretty easily. On the left hand side, those toenails have a little bit of surface damage towards the free edge. I think my client must have bumped their toenail and it was a little bit of a layer uh, taken off the toenail, which can happen if you leave your polish on for a longer length of time, over four weeks, and it can also happen with gel. When you leave gel on your toenails for too long, depending on the thickness, it can have an effect on how your toenails grow into the sidewalls of your toes. I also think that it's important for your toenails to just be themselves and probably after four weeks remove your regular polish as well. This helps your toenails stay laminated, the layers of keratin stay together, which means there's less of a risk of any sort of bacteria being introduced to the toenail and also means that your toenails have the ability to stay flexible instead of rigid underneath a product, which means you probably run into less pain if you struggle with sidewall pain. So after I've removed the polish, I just go across the toenails, straight across with my toenail nippers, just like you would with a regular pair of toenail clippers. I prefer these for working. I think they are faster and a little bit less damaging on the toenail. Today I'll mostly be using this cylinder bit. Is this a cylinder? I think so. Anyways, I'm going to be using this bit to clean the sidewalls and clean up the cuticle area of the toenail and also process the rough edges of the free edge. If there was more skin buildup, I would use a small unicorn bit to clean the sidewalls of the nails, but not in this case. Scooping out the dead skin from your sidewalls of your toenails could possibly help you with any sort of toenail pain. A lot of times people come in, they get a pedicure, they say they have ingrown toenails, and you know, I understand how it may feel that way, but a lot of times it's just dead built up skin. Even using a towel after your feet are softened from shower water around the area of the sidewall of your toes each time you have a shower could help you with removing buildup so it doesn't get to a point where you feel pain. Of course, there are instances when you do have an ingrown toenail and it might be infected, and in that case, you need to consult your medical service provider. Now I'm just beveling the edges of the toenails and I make sure to round the corners of each toenail because I don't want those corners poking into my client's toe and causing pain. This is an ingrown toenail file, and the purpose of this is to go into the free edge area that is uh, protected by the sidewall and smooth it out so then nothing pokes into your client's toes. It works really well, highly suggest this tool.
Now onto the Pato Discs. This client doesn't have a lot of callus to remove, so I'm not going to be using my FootLogic's foot file. Um, I'm just using a 80 grit Pato Disc. It's at a pretty high speed, it's probably 25 or 30 RPM, and I have my little vent underneath me, and then I'm going to not put too much pressure onto the callus area because I don't need to. I'm just going to file away anything that's there that doesn't need to be there. You need to leave a little bit of callus on your client's foot because we are here to reduce, not remove move and we don't want to cause any pain. One of my favorite ways to make sure that a client has really soft feet for a long time is using one of these buffer pato discs and then buffing nail and skin oil and a FootLogix foot mousse into the foot. And now I'm going to be buffing the toenails with it because later on I'm going to paint my client's toenails for them with a dazzle dry color. The toenails are ready to be painted. You only need one coat of the Dazzle Dry base for toenails, which is awesome. It goes by really quickly. I always make sure to make to warm my base, like I showed you in the beginning of the video, and then prep the nails with their prepping solution and continue on. I forget what color this is, dream come true? Anyways, this is one of my favorite Dazzle Dry colors. I really like sort of like brick orange colors. And eh, yep, this one's good. I suggested this to my client because I thought it was a really good spring summer color and she wears sandals a lot and she really liked it. Dazzle Dry, it dries while you work. So you gotta make sure you work pretty quickly, but as you can see, I'm not working that quick. After I'm done the very last toenail there, I can work on the next foot that I already did with the second coat. And then after you're done all your coats, you put your top coat on, you set the timer for five minutes, give your client a massage, and they're ready to put their shoes on. They can wear regular shoes. It's totally fine. It's really awesome. If you watched this far, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you could like this video and share it with a friend who you think would find this information useful, I would be most appreciative. I will see you guys next time.